The director of police reforms, Jonathan Koske, would testify before the committee on account that he was the lead investigator appointed by former commissioner of police, Matthew Iteria, to unearth what exactly went wrong with the Baragoi mission. I solemnly swear. Koske let on that during their investigation, officers disclosed that Joshua Waiganjo and a man dressed in civilian clothes were part of the delegation that attended the Baragoi security meeting but did not actually sit in for the entire meeting. During this meeting, compromise the Baragoi operation. Uh, that is something I also wanted to know, and uh, since I did not get the cooperation I wanted from, from the senior members of the Provincial Security and Intelligence Committee, I recommended that uh, their conduct to be investigated, because the officers really didn't know, because others were saying they were going in and coming out, and uh, in the first place I saw that uh, they were even not consistent in the meetings. Did you interview Waiganjo? No, not Waiganjo, Mbijiwe, at any given time? Try to find out from the PPO who that person was. Mm -hmm. And uh, he told me that uh, he's in charge of uh, KPR in Rift Valley. And while junior police chiefs may have testified at the Nakuru Municipal Hall over the last three days that alleged fake top cop using his position intimidated them, during its first sitting in Nairobi, the commission had from senior top cops that the said by Ganjo was non-existent to the best of their knowledge. I swear that the evidence I shall present before this committee is true to the best of my knowledge, madam. Suspended Rift Valley boss John Bijue had since turned the heat on his predecessor Francis Munyambu at one point accusing Munyambu of having introduced him to Waiganjo Munyambu who was the PPO Rift Valley when Waiganjo was said to have served as his deputy however denied ever having met the fake cop. Since I was transferred to Rift Valley um, 209, 210, 211, uh, 212, I did not know the issue of Mr. Waiganjo madam. You never met him, even one instance? I, I, I never met him uh, anywhere during my time when I was PPO Rift Valley. Uh, will it be true if somebody said that uh, you handed him over to your succeeding PPO? Madam, it will be extremely untrue. The Deputy Commandant of Administration of Police. Um, we have never had such an officer. And the Deputy Director in charge of personnel. He is not, and he is not among the regular police officers. Both ruling out any possibility that Waiganjo may have drawn a salary from the budget of the police force at any given time. So may God. Peter Ndungu, the senior superintendent of police in charge of police stores in industrial area, intimated that Waiganjo must have obtained the police uniform and procedurally as the police stores do not have records of him. From October 2010, up to the moment, Waigajo, I'm certain and 100 percent sure, was not issued uh, with any of our uniforms. The commandant in charge of police airing, Rogers Munene, confirmed that Waiganjo was among 15 people aboard the aircraft bound for Baragoi, saying in this instance the Rift Valley PPO was the head of the delegation and so in essence he had authorized everyone who boarded the aircraft. Former police boss Matthew Itere, who was to appear before the team following his alleged connections with Waiganjo, said he would appear on Friday afternoon. The team probing Waiganjo's conduct was earlier this week told that the police imposter allegedly gave Itere and Bijiwe a Toyota Land Cruiser each. Salim Bilu, Citizen Live at 9.